Welcome back students. In this assignment I'm showing you how to write custom functions. We're going to create a program that's called Show Dice Face. It's going to build on the previous assignment where we learned how to write a function called Roll Two Dice. You can see I have that same function here. Roll Two Dice is a part of this new program. So you can take the code from your previous assignment and just copy it in here and then we're going to change it a bit. You see I'm still importing the random module at the top, that's important, and then I've included my roll to dice function. Uh, the first few lines are the same. I declare two variables, fill them with a random number between 1 and 6, and then add them together and store them in a variable called roll. Um, and uh, down below at the very end of the program I have my statements that prompt the user to press enter to roll the dice and then I print out, I call the roll to dice function right here, store it in my roll, and then print out my roll at the end. Notice when you're printing out an integer, which the my roll variable is an integer, a number, you have to put str and then a set of parentheses around the variable name um, in order to turn it into a string. Okay, that's how you cast it or convert it into a string before you print it. That's the easiest way to do it, right inside the print function. Okay, so let's go back up. You can see I have a lot more in this program besides my roll two dice function. Inside the roll two dice function, um, I also have a set of if statements. I have two sets of if statements here. And um, you can see that I basically, basically am saying if die one equals a one, then I'm going to call another function called show one. If die one equals a two, then I'm going to call a function called show two, etc. So we see for each possible value of die one, I have a function call uh, that uh, is called show one, two, three, four, five, or six. Okay, well, what are those functions? We'll get to those in a second. We see uh, we're also inside our if statement, we're using another clause called an ELIF, E L I F. That basically stands for else if. You can use else if statements or clauses inside an if statement. So if the first clause is not true, it will go on and ask else if die 1 equals 2, uh, then something else will happen. You can see how you use an elif statement here. Okay, and then I have the same exact code, but now I'm checking for the value of dice 2. Same thing, if it's a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, or 6, I'm going to call these functions show 1 through show 6. So an important concept to learn here is that you can actually call other functions inside another function. I'm Again, I'm inside the roll two dice function and I'm calling other functions. That is possible and actually uh, very commonly done in programming. So it's an important concept to learn. So let's go down and look at those other functions. Here I'm at the end of my uh, roll two dice function. I return the value of roll and then I leave the function. Okay. Now we're back out into the main part of the program and we're defining six more functions. Here we go, show one, show two, etc. And we can see that inside these functions it's just a set of print statements. And I'm using ASCII art, which we learned about previously in this course, to print out the face of the dice. So here's the face of the one dice, uh, one dice face, so it has one dot in, it, in the center, or the two face of the dice which has two dots in the center or the three dice face which has three dots. You get the idea. Now note that in these particular functions, show one, show two, show three, we have a return statement and as you learned every function has to have a return statement but this is an empty return statement. It doesn't return anything. It just ends the function and that is possible in functions to just simply call return but don't return a value because these functions just print out the face of the dice but they don't return a value. Does that make sense? So we can see each one of those um, each one of those functions show one, two, three, four, five, and six each do the same thing except for they print out a different face. Okay, so you should get the idea of this uh, program now. Basically, we're just rolling two dice, and when we do, we're going to print out the face of those dice so that we get a visual representation of the dice face uh, along with the value of the dice roll. Let's take a look at what the program looks like when we run it. Okay, so let's go ahead and test the program. I'm going to go ahead and press F5, which opens up the shell window. It, it prompts me to enter, press enter to roll two dice. I press enter, and I have a three and a 1, and it tells me I rolled a 4. Let's run it again. I press enter, 
I have a 4 and a 4 and it tells me I rolled an 8. Aha, uh -huh, it's working. What do you know? Press enter. A 1 and a 2, I, I rolled a 3. Perfect. That's the way your program should run when you're done with it. And it should prompt the user to press enter. It should show two dice face. And it should add up the values of those two dice face and give you the total of the dice roll when you roll two dice. That's it. Have fun.